What's up backgammon fans? In this video we're gonna talk about blood placement theory. So what is that? Well, in backgammon we often face the decision of where to put a blood. So for instance, let's have a look at this position here. So blue is ahead in the race and he has rolled a 5 and a 3. Obviously we're gonna hit with a 3, that's mandatory. Of course, when in doubt hit, but hitting is the best thing you can do. And now we got a five to play. So the question here is whether we bring this checker down to safety, and it's a very useful spare checker, but still have this checker trapped over here in the inner board, or we make an escaping maneuver and go for freedom now in this roll, so we can try to achieve full freedom next roll. The key here is the stripped midpoint of white. We want to put our blots in front of stripped points because a stripped point is a point with no spare checker. So if white wants to hit, first of all, he needs to enter. Let's say he rolls a 3-4. He enters and he's going to hit with a 4. But look what he had to do. He had to give up his midpoint and blue can hit back with an ace or a 3. That's the value of putting your blots in front of your opponent's stripped point. Stripped points. Okay, let's go back to the original position here. What if I do this? Let me take these two checkers and bring them down here. Now it's not stripped anymore. Now it's actually quite heavy loaded, the midpoint here of white. So now, again, black has to move 5-3. He's going to hit, of course, gain in the race, send another checker back. But in this position, the other play is actually better because here we consolidate and we don't have any blots playing in front of spare checkers. So look at the resulting position here. Here we would come out here. Now we would have two blots and white could hit with a three or a four and still keep his midpoint, even have an extra spare checker. So in this position, it's better to just say, okay, we're not gonna achieve, achieve full freedom now. We're gonna just play safe and consolidate and then we will deal with that back checker later. So that's essentially it, blot placement theory. There's one more thing. Though, not quite as crucial, but still worth to mention. If you are forced to leave a shot in backgammon, usually you want to put your blood on the point that you would prefer to make afterwards. Let me give you a position here. Let's say, let me just quickly set up a position here. We got, we got the opening, opening position. So let's say that white opens with a 6-1. Six 6-1, one. Six one. of course, white is going to make his 7-point. Now, uh, blue rolls 6-5. The correct move here is to play 6 and 5. He could have also played all the way down here. This would only be 11 shots out of 36. Up here, it's 17 shots out of 36. It's way more shots, but it's still a better play. And then bring the 5 down as a builder because you are putting your checker on a point you prefer to make. This checker belongs here, not down here. So that's an important consideration as well. Also notice that white is still underdeveloped. If white had a stronger board, let's say something like this, it would be way more scary to get hit. And maybe now you would prefer to make this one just because you want to play more safe. But as it is, with this position, the right play is to play the five down and put your checker where it belongs. Backgammongalaxy.com